to see us doing what we have been called to do and trying to be faithful to the Lord and sticking with the, the mission, it really looks easy when you see people doing what they're assigned to do. And you may feel like, man, I have such a hill to climb. I have such a long way to go. I remember being there. I remember being there. And I remember being so tired, feeling like I'm not good at this. In fact, I remember the day I had, uh, there was a woman that was old enough to be my mother. I was in my, I started pastoring when I was 24. And I was around 26 or 27 at the time. And she was my prayer partner. And I felt like I was failing at this pastoring job. I need to quit this thing. I, I, I'm not having much success at what I'm doing. I wanted to quit. And I, I wanted to keep our appointment nonetheless because she said we're going to pray, I think maybe like a Tuesday evening. We're going to pray. We're going to pray at Tuesday evening. You can come over to my house. We're going to pray. I said, all right. She's a praying woman. So I'm going over there. I'm just going to, well, I, since I'm going to, I feel obligated. I'm going to go over there and pray, but I know I'm going to quit. I just don't know when I'm going to quit. Now I'm the senior pastor. <laughs> I'm the, the founding pastor. Who else am I going to tell him to quit, but I'm just going to tell him I'm quitting. I mean, we had like 30 or 40 people at the time after three, four years of ministry. I know I'm going to quit. I'm a failure at this thing. And I didn't tell anybody. Didn't even tell my wife. And when I got to her house that evening, she said, David, sit in that chair. So I'm saying, what is, what's going on? So I sat there. She said, take off your shoes and your socks and roll up your pants. She had a, she was going to wash my feet. So I rolled up my pants, I took off my shoes, took off my socks, and here I am sitting in front of this, this, one of those senior saints that the mindset, well, I didn't have enough time to study that passage today because I spent eight hours in prayer. That, that, that's the model, that's the picture I want you to have in your mind of this lady that's gone home to be with the Lord. And I'd never had my feet washed before. I knew the doctrine of it. But I never had it washed within the context of a ministry experience. I sat in that chair thinking that this is going to go on with me and it feels real awkward and weird. Someone washing my feet. And she took a rag, I put my feet in the bucket. And she started washing my feet. But as she washed my feet, she prayed over me. And she said, I know you have not told anybody in the world that you want to quit ministry. I've been praying for you all day. You want to quit? The Lord says, don't quit. I had resolved in my heart, I'm going to quit. That evening, she washed my feet. My tears fell in that bucket. Each tear that fell in the bucket, it was like parts of my heart that broken from my disappointment in myself, in my understanding of ministry, my feeling like I've disappointed the Lord. When that woman prayed for me, I don't know if you've ever been prayed for by one of the old saints. It's not, it's not like today. It's just when she prayed for me, you knew. It's like someone pushing you through a door that's been blocked. She prayed me through, prayed that discouragement out of my heart. Something broke off of me that night. I had resolved in my heart, if I only have 30 members, I'll never quit. I'm going to be faithful to God even if I just serve 30 people. I will do it with all my heart. 